Ezekiel has probably the most unique and spectacular call into the ministry of anyone. His description is so unique and weird that people are still trying to figure out exactly what happened. One thing's for sure, it wasn't aliens, no matter what the rest of YouTube says. You can read about it in chapters 1 to 3 of Ezekiel's book, but the basic facts are that Ezekiel was among the exiles on the Kabar River when he says that the heavens were opened and he saw visions of God. What he saw in the middle of that massive raging thunderstorm and the tornadic winds that were racing in from the north was the, the Merkava, the chariot throne of God himself, the mobile throne upon which the Lord God moved from place to place. Not the Ark of the Covenant that was still in the Holy of Holies in the temple in Jerusalem. This is the mobile heavenly throne. And it was guarded by the four cherubim, the four living creatures that guard God's throne in eternity. And strangely, each of these four creatures has four faces, a bull and a man and an eagle and a lion, which kind of sounds like the symbols for the New Testament gospel writers, doesn't it? Well, the dazzling and brilliant and loud entourage rolls up on Ezekiel with wheels that are covered in eyes, with wings that are flapping, with lightning flashing and brilliant bright light shining from the throne upon the chariot. And then he sees something like a man seated upon it, but he's also brilliantly aflame or maybe made of molten metal. This is not your average, ordinary, everyday messenger. This is certainly not even an angel. This is the living God himself coming to call Ezekiel into service. And so he says, such was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. And when I saw it, I fell on my face. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably drop to the ground too if I saw something like that coming. But such is the wonder and the majesty of the Lord, of your God, that he chooses Ezekiel, a man who never had or would ever have the opportunity to be a priest in God's temple. But he calls him to speak words of discipline and comfort to his people so that they know that he is still with them and that he will never leave them nor forsake them. What Ezekiel is about to do is so important that God himself comes calling to bring Ezekiel into the prophetic office to speak his word.